Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Showtime and Seasons. Yes indeed. As we left off in the last session we had a feast party to celebrate the closing of the fall season. Three days to go until winter is here. And uh, here is Johnny Five short circuited at the side of the pool after deciding to take a dip in and then get straight back out. Almost as if he did this on purpose to himself. But why would he do that? Why, Mr. Five? Why did you do that? We'll never know, because he doesn't speak to us in a language we understand. And uh, yes, the party's now over. Everybody is going about their business. Myron and Ethan finished off dancing here on the dance floor at the party. Of course, Maya's more and more heavily pregnant. Louis is doing something, and little Joffrey Kins, as we like to call him, is upstairs. No doubt about to scream the house down because he's hungry. So we'll wait for that lovely affair. So what we'll do is we'll just let the sims go about their business. We'll just sort of take a look from the outside in and see what they want to do. Oh yes, and of course there's this Tiberium, this spire cut Tiberium. We sent it off to be cut, it came back and it's only worth 7,383. Not the 40,000 I was hoping for. But nobody has yet come to me on the comments page suggesting anything else that I can do with this. So uh, I'll give you one more chance to advise me. And in the next session, I shall be selling it uh, if nothing crops up. Or shall I just leave it, giving off this, these sparks? It's quite a nice thing. If we could move it to somewhere slightly more pride of place, and it will provide a lovely effect. Almost like a soothing, calming effect. Look into its green glow as it sparks. What was that message? I didn't see. What's the matter? It needs to be fed. Feed in high chair. Come on, Ethan, get a grip. Can't you recognize your own son's, son's uh, screams here? That particular scream was for hunger. Here's a slightly more higher pitched scream for dirty nappy. And that is usually accompanied by a foul smell. Where's he going? He put him in the high chair to feed him, and then he went to the toilet without feeding him. Now, so he's, so he's trapped, hungry, and in a, in, a, in a state of a temper tantrum. Well, isn't that just glorious? Maya's going around viewing things. She viewed the planter, and now she's off to view the pictures. She's in the mood for art, by the looks of it. And uh, finally, actually, uh, are you going to give burnt waffles to Joffrey? Why would you do that? Okay, we're losing friendships here, left, right, and centre. Uh, oh, thank God! Where did it, where did that spring from? <laughs> you move quick there. He was about to prepare the meal, and uh, Ethan sideswipes in on the inside rail and uh, gives Joffrey something slightly more palatable by the looks of it. It looks like sloppy mush. Can we sit? We can't even tell what it is, but he's liking it. There we go. Much happier now. Mm. If only looking after children was so easy in real life. Oh! I think she's gone a little bit bigger. The okay, so is anybody going to bed yet? I'm just, as I say, just letting them go with the flow. Watching the family without taking too much of a direct line. Uh, Ethan's out stuffing his face with yet more baked angel food cake. It seems he likes this. Who's going to clean this up? You know what? We, should, we shouldn't we should waste this. We shouldn't waste this food. This will keep us fed for like... For weeks. So uh, the hand of God here is making a return. And... Baby's coming. Baby's coming! Baby's coming! Oh my God! But no, first of all, we'll take priority here. The food can't spoil. Forget your babies. Food needs to be put away in an orderly fashion. So we'll put the food away. Just bear with me, Ethan. Last time you made a little bit of a, you know, a charade out of things. You almost missed the birth because you were panicking. Didn't he also faint? Maybe I don't know. I seem to remember something went amiss. Anyway, the hand of God. 
Moving the food into the fridge. Lovely. Guests bringing food and, uh, well, we'll leave the rest of it. Uh, Half-eaten cake can go in there as well. Right, okay. Do we need to do anything here? Maya is going to drop any moment. She seems relatively happy. Oh, no. no okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> that is not a happy face. Uh, would somebody care to drop Maya off at the hospital? What is he watching? What are you watching? Oh, Johnny Five is woken up and gone. Thank God. Thank God. No, no, look at, no, no, no. He's done it again. Oh my God. He's, he's trying to kill himself, I'm telling you. Why is he doing this? Maya is not giving birth here in the toilet. Get yourself to the hospital, Maya. Come on, do I have to do it for you? You're bloody gonna drop any moment. Simfest? No, not Sim Flaming Fest, you imbeciles. Hospital, go now. Have baby, come on. Holy smokes, I didn't know that. Didn't realize I had to do it myself. You think Sims would be capable of taking themselves to the hospital in a state of labor? Jesus, Louisus. Come on. Wait, speaking of Louisus, where are you? Joffrey's stuck in the high chair. He needs his diaper changing. Can you take care of that? No, he can't. I'm clicking on the wrong person. Change the dirty diaper. Then, then maybe uh, tuck him with the claw. And then put him in his crib. Joffrey, you're going to have a little sibling very shortly. Is it going to be a boy? Is it going to be a girl? They... <sighs> The waiting is getting intense here. Ah, oh, look at her just ambling along in the rain. Nice and steady. No rush. And I'm only pregnant, you know. No need to panic. I've been through this before. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm experienced in such things. La la la. And Ethan is too busy talking with an acquaintance who he doesn't even know. Now he's going to be with a mother. Finally. Finally. Okay, we'll leave the folks at home taking care of business. We'll wait eagerly here to see what sex we're going to have in terms of the baby. And the traits that we are given are the traits that are we going to stick with. I chose Joffrey's traits to make him, uh, to mould him into my vision, which is going to be an evil, nasty Joffrey. And, ah, uh, oh, good of you to join us. And uh, this new baby, we're going to, uh, well, we're going to uh, just let the computer choose for us the traits. And uh, we'll see what little baby we get. Is it going to be one that's a genius? Oh, it's a baby girl! Oh, bless. Right, well, over in my forums there was a thread created not so long ago about uh, naming the new arrival. And the name I have chosen uh, was suggested by Ultraman. I quite like the ring of it. I could have gone for another Game of Thrones themed name, but I thought, no, we'll have one Game of Thrones theme and we'll have one normal. And I've gone for Julia. Julia Jones. We had Jamie Jones, and now we've got Julia Jones. So, uh, there we go. Another addition to the Jones family. And, Maya's pregnancy went well. The baby has been born with the genius trait, and you will get to choose her second trait. So she's already been born with a bloody genius trait. It looks like Maya and Ethan here having genius babies. There must be something in the genes here. Something in the water, perhaps. They, they, they're they just popping out geniuses. The Joneses are about to take over the world. We have an evil genius. Why not have a completely opposite end of the spectrum? A total law-abiding and kind-hearted genius. Sounds good to me. So, uh, yes, let's see if we can pick something like that. So, uh, we'll have her be the complete polar opposite of Joffrey. So, uh, let's have a look-see here. Physical, no. Social, friendly. That's a good start. Nice, that good. There you go. They go out their way to help friends and help family members in need. They're charitable and they comfort those around us. Yeah, complete polar opposite. So we have the good genius, Julia, and the evil genius, Joffrey. How will they interact? How will they get on... We'll have to uh, find out in future parts, won't we? Right, so a good genius. Excellent. And here she comes, freshly draped in her pink linens. Oh. Why are you not smiling? 
She wanted another boy, didn't she? Look at her face. You just had a baby, you should be full of the joys of spring. Not full of the rains of fall. Anyway, come on, let's get ourselves back home. In fact, speaking of home, we better get ourselves uh, um, tinkering with the house because there's a new addition and therefore we might need to expand. Uh, we'll zoom on in here. Just one second. I, you've gone to sleep. Joffrey is not in his crib. What's happened to Joffrey? Why is he not in his crib? He's been left in the high chair! Look at this! He didn't even change his diaper! Louis, I asked you to do one thing! I asked you to do one bloody thing and you can't even do it! You can't even do it! Joffrey's been neglected here! The social services will be around and whipping my children away before I even get Julia back home! I can't have this! Anyway, before I get distracted any further... They can't even look after one baby. How the hell are they going to cope with two? So uh, we have one crib here. When Joffrey ages up in a uh, day or two's time, let's have a look. See here, where's his age? Where's his age? He's aging up to oh today, today Sunday. He's today is the day of aging up. So Joffrey's aging up. We've got a new arrival. It's all action stations. So um, what to do? What to do? God. This is going to be Joffrey's little, uh, room when he ages up. It's going to be a children's bedroom. Um, should we do that now or should we wait till he actually ages up? I think what we'll do is we'll wait till he ages up. We'll age him up as close to the end of the session as possible. So uh, for now, uh, we're going to need two cribs for the very short term. So if we go here and we go into uh, this and we go onto that and create another one. Um, this is going to be a tight squeeze. I think maybe we'll put her in a separate room for now. Just make life a little bit simpler. Okay, there we go. This is going to be Joffrey's room, but for now it is the new baby's room. And we'll go to the paintbrush mode and we'll um, colour it into something slightly more appropriate, like a lovely pink colour. How about that? Looking good? Looking not too bad. Okay, looking pink. That'll do, won't it? It's only a makeshift thing. Well, it's not actually a makeshift thing. The baby's going to be sleeping here for some time. So we have like, somewhere for the baby to sleep. The new arrival, Julia. Joffrey, well, should be sleeping here, but he's not. Hey, hey, hey. Right, come on. Let's see what's happening next. Louis, you're in for the high jump tomorrow, I tell you, mate. You've even left Joffrey in the high chair. Look at the poor little mite. No wonder he's going to turn out evil. Look at him. He's hatching his evil plots as we speak. You leave me to rot in my dirty diaper in the high chair? I'm going to make you suffer. When I'm old enough to do anything. Okay. Let's eagerly... There we go. There they come. Get away, please. Does you... Does you... Berry? Go away. Stupid man. Here they come, the happy couple. New baby in tow. Ethan, can I entrust you to look after your own child properly? Hopefully I can. Right, change dirty diaper, attack him with the claw and put him in his crib. Maya? Carrying... Oh, you're joking. Oh, you're joking me. I've put the D on the end of the name. I've oh. called her Juliet. <laughs> oh, my God. It's Juliet Jones. Not Julia. I'll have to change that at the uh, at the, uh, the City Hall when I get a chance. I can't have her called Juliet. Stupid name. Maya's fit to drop, actually. She's going to go put in... Is she going to put her in the right crib? Don't put her in Joffrey's crib. Don't put her in Joffrey's... There we go. Look at that. She already knows. She knows where it is. Good night, little Juliet. <laughs> Sweet dreams now, the misnamed child. There we go. Oh, she's dropping. She's uh, where are you going? You're putting him in the wrong crib. Put him in the crib. Or maybe he's just going to look. He's, oh, what, am I, what am I being so nasty for? He's introducing Joffrey to the new arrival. He's just saying, here you go, Joffrey. Look, a new little baby. This is your sister. Joffrey's thinking, I don't like the awe around her. It doesn't quite sit well for some strange reason. 
I'm too young to appreciate what it is right now, but when I'm older, I will appreciate it for all it is worth, because she will be good and I will be evil. Are you going to bed, Maya? She's sleeping in the, uh, the trailer. She needs a power, power sleep, a celebrity sleep. And Ethan is going to sleep on his own in the bed here. Strange but true. And Johnny Five is still outside, gracing us with his rather dishevelled and smoking presence. Well, the new arrival is tucked up in bed, but not not sleeping. She's she's obviously new to the world. She's taking a look about the surroundings, getting used to what's happening. It's not decorated this room yet, so it's almost like just a makeshift thing for now. So what the hell are we going to do today? What the hell are we going to do? Well, I think Maya and Ethan should really spend time at home getting to new the no new arrival, preparing for Joffrey's birthday party. I think Louis needs to get back on the on the uh, on the bandwagon in terms of his uh, career. It's been put on hold after Snowy's demise, but now with the grieving process is waning a little bit, so he needs to get back into the swing of things. So we'll see if we can actually organise with him a audition to get a decent gig. We haven't done one of them yet. We have no gigs booked, so we're gonna. Pick a seedy little uh, bar in town and hope that we can get a gig of some sort. We are a talented amateur. 